Sunday, Sunday night, Chucky Talks Ballets. Hi girls and guys, it's Mr. Tracky and we're on the right track. Welcome to episode 22 of The Real Life Show. In today's episode, this one's going to be really personal. This is about me and my fiancé's journey. Uh, it's called Our Journey for a reason, because it's a journey we've been on for the last five years. And um, I think it has some major relevance to majority of my audience uh, it's going to appeal to somebody out there I know it is 95% of my audience is male and uh, five years ago I um, sat down to hear that my partner was diagnosed with a condition now I'm not going to stipulate what it is because she's asked me not to but she doesn't mind me talking about the scenario surrounding the um, illness so I'm gonna leave it at that all I can say is it affects our ability to have children now it's not impossible to have children um, but it it's been a long and hard struggle so far to get to where we are currently and um, me being 30 years old coming up to 31 a lot of people always ask me that question mr. tracky how come you haven't got no kids or they'll make not stupid comments but what I would class as ignorant comments because people just expect people to have children with no issues and they forget about the few people that may be in the circumstances where it is harder to have children now I've never put an age on me having kids so me being 30 years old doesn't have no bearings on my feelings at all children will come when they're supposed to come in my opinion financially i'm ready for it my mum's always been grateful that i lived my life first she didn't want me to have uh, children at a young age as she had me at 18 years old and her lessons in life taught her that it was a struggle and she didn't want that for me um my partner was diagnosed and um from there she had several operations which were hard for me to, to take and it was hard for me to take on the basis that it's a man's job it's a man's instinct I should say to be a protector of his partner and when she's fighting a battle internally that you can't do nothing about because I'm not a qualified surgeon for a start um, it's hard and we've had conversations in the past and arguments in the past because it's it's been it's been a highly pressurizing um situation to be in at times for both of us and at times that comes out as anger frustration and to our relationship relationships detriment at some times and um to watch your partner beat themselves up and act as if it's their fault that they're this way it, it, it's, it's really hard to stomach and um, sometimes it's only words that you can use and you don't feel as if they're enough and you can comfort the person but you can't even envisage what they're going through inside and um, I've tried to put myself in a situation as me being the woman which is hard and I'll I always say that it's both of us in, in the situation but at, I know that there's times that she doesn't agree with me and um, it's it's a it's an honor in a way to see a woman put her body on the line just to try and give us children which is well, it's amazing for me to see somebody just be so selfless I mean the easiest thing we could have done here was okay that's a scenario we're not having children I'm not doing that I'm not putting my body through that and she has done 
and I'm forever grateful for that and it's it's um it's hard and she's always asked me I don't see you cry are you even bothered it comes out as an argument sometimes and I suppose yeah it's obvious I cry on <laughs> I'm you can probably hear now that there's tears rolling down my eyes it's um it's a it's a defense me mechanism for me I don't like to seem that I'm weak because I want to know that she can approach me when she's not feeling her strongest and there have been some humorous sides to this whole thing I mean I had to go and have a seminal <laughs> analysis where I had to go into a room with some horrible ass magazines <laughs> And, uh, you know, the reader's wives kind of stuff. And I literally had to beat my meat <laughs> to uh, to get a um, sample out for him just to check that um, my sperm was actually working. Which, obviously, is the lighter side of things. But um, we're currently at the stage now where we had some great news. Um a couple of weeks ago and the procedures that have been performed on her have, have seemed to have worked and the biggest thing that she was dreading is now null and void it doesn't exist anymore so we're currently at the point where we're uh, about to go for IVF I think it's called invertro um, something for invertro fertilization or something like that um, which we've sat down and we actually watched a couple from America who were on live TV go through the process and it kind of changed our view about the whole process even more um, there's a lot of negativity that was surrounding it from other people's experience of it but we never seen the positive which is the nature of the world that's the current state of YouTube at the moment everything's negative it travels faster doesn't it so my basic question to some of you is is anyone going through anything like this or do you have any situations with your partner where you close up and really you should be the knight in shining armor when you can is anyone that just wants to talk to me even if it's in a direct message that that's not a problem i just thought i'd share this with you guys because that's what this show's about being real and that's as real as i can get with you guys please don't forget to like share subscribe and as always, don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.